So it might seem a little unfair that Alma Mahler today is chiefly remembered uh, for the men in her life. Uh, <laughs> this is a, a selection. This is not the entire cast, and I've arranged them chronologically. There are husbands, lovers, and just flirtations. She was obviously fascinated by uh, talented men. Uh, she wasn't particularly into um, good looks or sex appeal. It was the men's talent that really interested her. Uh, here she is uh, at the turn of the century, uh, Bruno Walter, the great conductor and protege of Mahler, uh, said she was regarded as the, the prettiest girl in Vienna. She is undoubtedly very beautiful, very pretty, but she had the luck to have the ideal look of the time. She's the ideal beauty of the Belle Epoque. Uh, this is, on the left, is a drawing by the Belgian symbolist artist Fernand Knopf, and he came to Vienna to exhibit at the secession. And when he met Alma, like everybody, he was just bowled over. He must have felt, oh, I've met one of my own creations. I've met one of my own paintings. You can see how similar they are. Now, Klimt never got round to painting her, but he didn't really need to, because uh, every painting of a woman by Klimt um, at the, just before and just after the turn of the century has a bit of Alma in her. This is actually a portrait of a woman called, called uh, Sonia Knips, uh, painted just around the time when, when Klimt had his flirtation with Alma, and you can see they're very, very much the same type. Here she is with, um, with Gustav. I mean, he did treat her a bit as housekeeper, mother of the children, all the usual things that men do with their wives, which she uh, resented from time to time. Here she is uh, with their two daughters, Anna and Maria. Tragically, Maria died at a very early age, and this brought on a crisis in her marriage. This is the point where she really began to wander a little bit from her, the, the path of marital fidelity. Uh, she threw herself into the arms of the pianist Osip G G Gabrilovich, who you see on the left-hand side, and she actually had an affair with the young architect, uh, Walter Gropius. But they came through this crisis with the help of Freud, actually helped to sort them out. <coughs> And the result of that was that uh, 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 Mahler uh, 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 encouraged her to go back to composing. He encouraged her to publish uh, the, uh, the five songs, one of which we're going to hear tonight. And he dedicated his own eighth symphony to Alma, as you can see there.